The hottest thing to hit the beach since the bikini. It's beach tennis and it's coming to Clearwater Beach this weekend. We'll tell you how you can take in all of these sandy action. And we'll tell you how. Okay, now I'll go, go ahead. Welcome back to Studio 10, everybody. <laughs> Plucked from the world of private clubs and pleated whites, beach tennis reimagines the sport amidst an atmosphere laden with the smells of suntan oil and strawberry daiquiris. Oh, yes. Beach tennis continues to gain popularity since its inception just a few years ago. Here to tell us about an event that's coming to Clearwater this weekend is Brett Johnson from Beach Tennis uh, USA Team Rhino. Hey, Brett, how's it going? Good. How are you doing? So how is this different? Do, do you guys actually use an actual tennis ball? or do you use one of those tether ball Or like a things? wiffle ball or something. What, what is the tether ball thing? What is that called? No idea. With the, the fly? Or <laughs> the I don't know. Clearly that's not it. What <laughs> do you <laughs> use? <laughs> it's actually a, a regular tennis ball. It's just depressurized, so it's not as hard. You can't squeeze it, or you can squeeze it more than a regular tennis ball. So if you hit it really hard, it doesn't go hundreds of feet? No, no, no. It doesn't go very far. It doesn't hurt as much, so if you get hit by, with it, it doesn't leave a huge bruise, it just leaves a small bruise. <laughs> so a small how, mark. <laughs> how does this compare to traditional tennis? Does it bounce once? Or are you trying to keep it in the air? What's it's the uh, all out of the air. So it's um, really a direct um, correlation between beach volleyball and tennis. So everything's out of the air. Um, unfortunately, you can't pass it back and forth, mm -hmm. anything like that. It's just one shot and over. Um, so it's a lot quicker than regular tennis because you don't have that time in between the bounce and the hit and everything like that. Is it easier with, with just two, can just two people play or is it like two man teams or three man teams? How does that work? We have, it's only doubles, so it's only two uh, man or woman mm -hmm. teams. Um, and that's the only way that we have it here in the United States. Okay, so this, this is global. This is not just the United States then that does yes, this. Yes, yes. They play it in uh, many other countries actually around the country. Mm -hmm. I mean, around the world, I'm sorry. Um, we actually went to Italy last year. That's uh, pretty much where it was founded. Okay. And um, But they played a slightly different version than we play here. But um, the way we played over here, we only play with uh, doubles teams. Okay. Well, what's nice about uh, beach, the beach tennis is that you don't necessarily have to have, uh, you know, you don't have to set aside time on a court. You can just go out on a beach if you wanted to play yourself and just set up a net and you're good to go. You know, you don't have to reserve court time. Exactly. Uh, and exactly. all that. Um, yeah, we're, uh, what we're trying to do right now is just get beach tennis nets around um, on the beaches all over the place so you, that you can play just like you would uh, beach volleyball when you go out to, the, when you go out to um, the beach for the day. So is there a difference between, uh, this might sound like a silly question, but is a volleyball net and a, and a beach tennis net, is it the same thing or they're, they're a little... No, they're different. Uh, um, I believe a beach volleyball is about eight feet tall uh -huh. and mm -hmm. our nets are only five foot ten inches high. Okay. Can I just say that this video is reminding me a lot of the volleyball scene in Top Gun. I just <laughs> wanted to say that. And ladies at home, I know what you're thinking right now. You want to know where you can see this live. Where are you guys going to be? We're actually going to be at uh, Pier 60 um, Saturday and Sunday this weekend. We have a uh, professional event, um, professional and amateurs. Mm -hmm. So um, if you've never tried it, want to come out and try it. Oh, absolutely. you can try it even. Yeah, we're going to have courts. We have, um, we're going to have a, a good amount of courts. So um, some courts will be just for playing, and then mm -hmm. some will be for people to try it out and test it out. And if you've never tried it, you can. So you don't necessarily have to be good at tennis and or volleyball uh, in order to do this. Were there sports that you excelled at? I mean, were, were you a tennis player or I was a tennis player? I was a tennis player my whole life. I played juniors from the time I was two years old. Uh -huh. I played college tennis. I played a little bit on the tour. Um, and once I figured out that I wasn't going to make it on that, I kind of switched over to this. This had to be crazy to adapt to, having played tennis the traditional way. Was it hard to kind of switch over into this mindset of now this ball can't touch the ground, now this, I mean, it seems like it's almost faster paced to play the beach way. It is. Um, I guess the biggest uh, difference was playing on the sand, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, moving is a lot harder, but um, doubles tennis is a lot of, regular doubles tennis is a lot of out of the air volleying and it's quick and fast paced. So in college, I played a lot of doubles, so mm. I got used to it, kind of. Okay. And it seems like this would be more of a sort of an overall workout. You were talking about how it's more difficult to move around in the sand, uh, and it's also, I guess, uh, conversely, a little nicer to fall when you when, when you, you fall, fall down. down. Oh yeah. Sand's a little softer than, a, <laughs> oh, than yeah. an asphalt volleyball. Court. I'm a lot more willing to dive on the uh, sand than I ever <laughs> have been on the hard court or clay court. So. And the diving's kind of fun too. You know, oh, yeah. you dive for the shot. You know, that shows your part. You're, you know, you're really getting in there. Oh yeah, it gets the crowd going a little bit. So. <laughs> That's right. How long has this been in existence here? Um, in the United States? We're in our fourth year now. Okay. So here, but like I said, 
over overseas it's been going on for years so uh, many years so we're in our fourth year but uh, we're growing slowly but surely so take uh, take part in this folks yeah. the beach tennis going on all weekend long yep. uh, and here's 60 when are the amateurs welcome that's when I get um, out there. amateurs are gonna be Saturday and Sunday mornings okay um, so uh, the morning time is gonna be for the amateurs and mm -hmm. but you can play all day so if you just want to come out and just try it out you can try it all, all day and then the pros are gonna be um, in the afternoon all right, so that is at Pier 60, and if you don't know, that's right across the bridge from Clearwater to Clearwater Beach. It's like right there. And uh, beachtennisusa.net is the uh, web address if you want to learn more. Plus, you can go to studio10.tv. Again, that's this Saturday and Sunday, and it is supposed to be beautiful weather, so I can't really think of anything more fun to do. Hey, and with all this in mind, Brett, thank you very much for being here, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, go thank get you. them this weekend, <laughs> man. We're going to make tennis. If you've been waiting for the Win Stuff Word of the Day, tennis is the Studio 10 Win Stuff Word of the Day, your chance to win prizes just by watching Studio 10 like you're doing right now, and it's very easy, very it simple. Is. Go to our website, studio10.tv, and follow the Win Stuff link at the bottom of the homepage. Type in today's Win Stuff word, which is tennis, and you'll earn points that you can use to win great prizes. So log on to studio10.tv, the greatest website in the history of the world, and you will win stuff. Your movie review is coming up next. It is.